Hi, I'm Rob from robnonphoto.com and uh, today I'm just going to be doing a really quick unboxing video of um, a fantastic product that um, Datacolor have sent me called the Spider 4 Pro, which is actually a monitor and screen calibration device. Now, you may well say, well, what's exciting about that? Well, it's incredibly exciting for me because I've always struggled with... Um, with digital color photography, well film color photography as well when it comes to the di digital workflow and I've never been that happy with uh, the way that um, I've edited my color photos and I'm printing, printing them out and the colors always seem slightly off um, things like white balance and things like that aren't always um, completely there and I think if there's one thing that makes a color photograph really really pop it's, it's having um, the correct the, the correct colors especially things like skin tones or if there's a product in the photo that you know what the color should be like a can of coca-cola or something like that that's really important to get those colors right and i've used black and white as a bit of a, a sort of a crutch to um to get over these issues but the uh, kind people at data color said no let's send you a spider 4 pro so you can calibrate your monitor and your screens um so i thought i'd do a quick unboxing because <laughs> yeah because i find it dead exciting to come so this has come all the way from um from germany it's a little old me so let's see if i can get into it without um without damaging the product or managing to uh, slice my hands open Hopefully that should be it. Let's have a look and see what we've got inside. And there we have the Spider 4 Pro. How cool, how cool does this look? In fact, let's see if we can, let's break the seal on the top and get it out. So basically what this thing does is it's um, it's got a number of sensors on and you, um, Put it up against your computer screen or whatever screen you're using on your laptop, desktop, um, things like that. And um, it then assesses the colour output and then using the supplied software you can then create a custom profile for your screen, for your monitor, so that it will be rendering um, the correct colours. So when you actually come to do your final output, whether that be you know saving stuff for the web or for print or PDFs, um, especially printing, you know you're going to get the right colour output. There he is. The, that's the Spider 4 Pro. So this thing kind of sits um, on your um, on your monitor screen, and you run the software, and then uh, then it calibrates it and gives you a, a custom profile so that you can make sure that. All the colors are as they should be and it also I'm pretty sure also has an ambient light sensor as well so it can adjust for how bright or what the colors are in the room you are uh, you're in and uh, so this is incredibly uh, incredibly useful uh, especially if you're going to be having any sort of uh, uh, output to print or even the web and lots of people might well say well wait a minute um, doesn't it always does it only be relevant if everybody's got their monitors profiled and and accurate and of course you know hardly you know apart from photographers and video professionals not many people do have their their monitors and screens calibrated and that's true but if you want to print things out it's important that you've got um the correct uh, colors on your screen if anything it will save you time and money because it will stop you doing prints and thinking oh that didn't come out quite right and then trying to make some adjustments but also it gives you a really good base to start off with and if you know the colors you're working with are okay it means that if you sent prints off for to professional services or web services they're going to look fine um, and when you're sending things to obviously to clients as well you know what you've done um, is correct so here we go so that was a, a quick unboxing a quick look at the spider f what else have we got in there so we've got the spider we've got a there's a funky little stand for it looks like there's uh, some guy a guide in there and uh, a disc so what i'll be doing is i'll be playing with the spider 4 pro over the next week or so calibrating the screen on my laptop and i've got an extra screen as well i'll probably be giving that a go and then i'll do a proper um full review and probably maybe some walkthrough reviews as well uh, my name's rob from robnonphoto.com thanks for watching this unboxing of the datacolor spider 4 pro